Owen Abbasin here from firehype.com and I'm here with Brian Jennings. Uh, Brian, we just obviously seen your decision loss yeah. Joe Joyce. Let's talk about that fight. I know you're unha unhappy with uh, the scorecards because yeah. there was one that was really wide, I think it was eight, not eight rounds to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. eight or nine rounds to go. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about the decision, what, what did you make of that? Yeah, uh, I, just think, I just think that it, you know, I really, you know, initially I don't think it was a fair one, a fair decision, but uh, I really got to really watch it and assess it, but the way I felt, um, the way things were going, um, I can understand, I can understand the decision to him based off of like hometown things or like certain, certain, um, certain activities, certain, certain points of the fight where, you know, it was active looking but not very effective, but you know, scoring wise, you know, that was something that I had to make sure that I couldn't give, I couldn't give the advantage to him based off of what the judges were seeing. But other than that, I really think the, 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 wide, the margin was really wide. And if anything, you know, it could have been, it could have been something closer, you know, if I if I wanted to really just accept accept the loss. But I really don't think that was like a near shutout, you know, for what they for what they scored, and you know that's just like I think one judge gave it three rounds between you. Yeah, guys. it was I think it was one eighteen or something. Yeah. And I'm just like, and then you got then you got to think about it. I, I got a point taken away. Mm. You know, and it's like I never got a point taken away in a fight, never. Like, and it just was like, yo, really, like, and. Uh, but you know, I really gotta watch it to really like, like, like get a full assessment on it, and you know, just let it sit with me and settle, and let me accept, you know, how it is. Uh, it's nothing you could do about it anyway. But uh, I just, I just want to see it for myself and kind of, and kind of see like, oh, okay, nah, okay. D did you feel like uh, you were getting a lot of success out there because there was a lot of shots that you were landing, especially early on in the fight where uh -huh. you were landing clean on Joe? Did you feel like there was a lot of success, especially at the start that Joe was maybe, his defense was it maybe up to game at the first yeah. couple of rounds? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it was. And even, and even throughout throughout the whole fight, it was sometimes, sometimes it, it, they might have, it might have looked like I probably took a round off or two. Um, but, you know, I could actually credit that to him fighting more, you know, but to him actually wanting it more that round and you know um, you know just doing what he had to do so he put up he put up a great he put up a great effort you know uh, for times where he had to take advantage or he had to uh, you know you know do a little more work um, so it was a good fight but I def I just don't think that it was it was that wide uh, obviously coming into this fight a lot of people are talking about George Joseph's power yeah you've obviously just done 12 rounds with him talk to me about his power did you feel anything in there uh, compared to any, any other fighters that you faced in the past nah nah it's um on, on on that scale, it's not. I mean, yeah, on, yeah. On that scale, it's, it's literally just something that you just you always got to watch out for anyway. So you know, uh, the shot that hurt the most is the shot you don't see. So if you see everything, or you know, if it's certain things that you uh, you know that you make him either catch or halfway catch or whatever or deflect, then you know those those shots aren't as effective because you actually saw them coming. You were able to brace. But as far as the power. Um, no, I'm not gonna say he doesn't have any, but but it's uh, and I'm not gonna say it's exceptional either, but you know it's 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 he's a heavyweight, you know he's 256. He punches like a 256 pound guy. Let me just ask you, lastly, where does Brian Jennings go from here? Uh, I don't, I, I'm not I'm not really really sure. Uh, I'm a, I'm a hustler anyway, so uh, whatever I choose to do, whatever I, whatever I decide to do, um, that's, it's, it's, it's just gonna be something that you know I I literally go when I and I go at, I go hard at. Um, I really have to sit and, and assess that, um, you know. Then based based on the based on the demographics of the game and how to you know you know how things how things are. I mean I I, I have a place, I still have a place. Regardless of whether I want to fight, or regardless of whether I want to, you know, do uh, do something that still has something to do with with the boxing world, whether it's commentating or managing, uh, because I have I, I I've had a strong, a very strong team, you know, for the last for the last six years of my career, um, and I've learned a whole lot. I've learned a whole lot with that, and then I've learned a whole lot in life. So um, I've I've gained a lot of experiences that that's gonna always make sure that I'm good. Yeah. Well, Brian, have a safe journey back to Philly. Right. And uh, no doubt, Fire Hat will catch up with you soon back in the States. Thank you very much. Talk right. to Fire.com. Right. Appreciate it.